welcome to Live Long and Color. I want to thank you all for stopping by and joining me today. I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel, liked and commented on my videos. You are also greatly, greatly appreciated. I thank you so much. Um, today's video is going to be my supply haul video. Um, I normally do this around the middle of the month, but I waited for some other items to come in, so it's a little late um, this month. Um, I'm going to start with the um, pens, pencils, and those types of supplies. First, I bought these Black Widow pencils. I had been wanting to buy them for a while. They were out of stock for the longest time. I think I bought these in the middle of that last month and they took to the middle of this month to get here, so they took a while. Um, there's 24. Um, these are all the colors that they have. Um, each one has the color on the end and I don't know if, I don't think they always had that. I'm not sure to be honest, but I thought they used to be all black, but now they have the color on the end. They each have the number and the name of the color on each of the barrels. Um, I haven't swatched them, but I did use them to color this page. This is a Creative Haven page. I think it's from A Year in Flowers. And to be honest, I don't really like this paper much. I've been having a hard time finding a pencil that'll work on it. And I didn't mind these pencils on this paper. I think they worked pretty well. So that is the Black Widow pencils. Um, next, I bought these Cali Art 72 color dual tip brush markers. They are water based. They have the brush end and the fine liner. They're non toxic and acid free. Um, in addition, I bought this case from Amazon. It's uh, U Shares, it has the little uh, pocket in the front. It has a zippered pocket in the back. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. So it has that pocket. Um, it holds, if you open it up, it has large slots. So it holds two of those Cali Art pens in each one. And I'm gonna show you one of the previous ones. I didn't open that one yet, but um, they have the brush tip on one end, they have the fine tip on the other. They're each numbered. They don't have a color name or anything, but they are numbered. In this case, um, in this case, it fits two of each of the pens in the in each slot. If you were using colored pencils, it would hold three, and it also holds two gel pens. Um, I almost wish I had bought a bigger case because I was thinking that I could have possibly put my super tips in here. But for now, I'm really liking um, putting those Cali Arts in there. They work. This is working out pretty well. I haven't. I'm not going to put a link to any of any of these in the description. But if you need a link. To anything that I have on my video, I will I will gladly add it. So if you uh, need a link to anything, just comment below and I will add it for you. Okay, next um, I bought these. These are Sergeant Art 24 black glitter gel pens. I decided to use these. Um, for outlining on my color Questopia books. Uh, let's see here. See if I can find the one that I had done previously. 
Hmm. I cannot find it at all. Oh, here it is. I used it for this one. I don't know if you can see, but I'm using it to do the outlining. And I don't know if you can see that it sh the shine on it, but uh, no, I don't think you can. There you go. Maybe you can see a little bit there. So anyways, I bought a box of 24. They sell, I believe, I don't know how many colors they sell. They also have silver and and uh, blue and green and red and all of those colors, but I got the black. I tried outlining with the silver, but um, I didn't like it as much, so I went ahead and got the black one. Next, we have these Ohuhu glitter markers. I don't remember whose channel I saw them on, but I thought I would try them out. They have a pretty uh, I don't know if I can get it there we go pretty small tip on them um, they are I can never there we go non-toxic and they have a fine tip and I haven't swatched these out either but I did do this picture with them um, I did the word love, did all these little um, dots here, and I outlined her veil. Um, I think it worked better for the outlining than it did in these spaces, but I still like the way it came out, and it's very shimmery and shiny. And so far, I'm really enjoying working on these. So that's the Ohuhu glitter markers. There's 12 colors. Okay, next, um, I bought these Crazy Art Crayons. I wanted to try them out because they're cheaper than the Crayolas, and I thought I would give them a try to see if they're just as good. And honestly, um, they're not bad. If you look at them, if you look at them they're about the same size as a Crayola they do have a color name this one is indigo there we go um, I colored I haven't colored a complete picture yet but I did do this one this little bit here with them and so far I really like the way they're working out so I think they'll work out pretty good for uh, coloring in these oh hi buddy buddy thought he'd come and say hello <laughs> um, I've been using the the crayons in um, this cute cats by uh, such and such diva and I really think these will work well so this is the crazy art 64 crayons they um they're about a dollar cheaper i think the 64 is like two something at walmart of the of the crayola and these are like a dollar something so um, yeah they work out pretty well next um i haven't tried these out at all these are brush tip sharpies i happened to spot them when i was at walmart the other day and i thought i would try them out we'll see how they work um i don't know there's only 12 eight colors sorry eight colors so um i don't know if they're planning on doing any more than that but i thought these were interesting so i thought i would try them out also at walmart i got these uniball signo gel impact they come with um, metallic blue, metallic green, and metallic pink, plus the bonus silver. And then I also got, those I got from Walmart, these I got from Amazon. They're the gold. They're basically the same thing. 
I use these a lot in my coloring. Okay, then we get to my uh, Dollar Tree haul. I got these glitter gel pens. I have been looking for these for a long time. And they finally had them in stock. I did, I bought quite a few packs, but I did not buy all of the packs that they had there. So I did, I was tempted, but I did not buy them all. I did not buy them out. Um, I used them here. They're working out pretty good. I will say that sometimes it feels like they're running out of ink and I have to shake them. And once I shake them, they, they start working again. So that's been the only issue I have. I like the colors. Um, they're very smooth. So I would definitely buy them again. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a haul without my washi tape. Um, I bought that, and I bought these little bows. This landscape here. Little tigers. This little geometric pattern. don't know this little scallop pattern here and these feathers so that was my washi tape haul in addition to that I bought these three uh, color palettes of eyeshadow I think these are I think there's only two sets that I have not bought I don't I didn't buy the I think with the bear and the nude set because they were like a more beige colors and I don't use those for backgrounds that much so I bought the rubies the fuchsia and the violets so I got these at Walmart and that's it for the supplies now we'll do the books I bought this one. This is Grains of Gold by Hannah Carlson. I bought this to support her. Um, I don't really like coloring in books, so I haven't had a tendency to buy a hardcover um, because, frankly, these are too nice to cut into. I would never do that. Um, let me move this out of the way. So yeah, this one I bought because it's a compilation of a lot of her other books. So I thought it would be a good place to start. It was between this and Tales from the Forest Kingdom because I saw a flip through of that and I really liked it. Um, I'm not very good at coloring um, gems and such and she seems to do a lot of those. But um, there are pages in here that I could, I could definitely color these. Um, I could definitely color this. These are more my style. So yeah, there's a few pages in here that I could probably do pretty good. Um, I've seen a lot of people work in these and they make beautiful pictures. I just don't have the skill level to use uh, watercolors or any type of anything fancy. But I do like the book and I'm glad I bought it. And if I have fun coloring in this one, I probably will at some point buy uh, Tales of the Forest Kingdom. Next, I bought this from Crayola. This is, you know, more my speed usually in my coloring. I like simplistic pictures. This is, uh, sorry, Well-Dressed Pets Coloring Book. It's a Crayola. I got it at Walmart. Um, seems like it has pretty nice paper the paper is pretty thick you can definitely use um, look at that so cute you can definitely use uh, oh gosh I like that one too alcohol markers in this they have good thick lines so that is well-dressed pets by Crayola then I have Country Chibi by Alexandra Frances. I think that's how you say her name. She used to color for Jade Summer. I have bought 
um, quite a few of her uh, cute and like her cute and lovely cute and spooky uh, cute Christmas book so this is her country chibi and they have some really cute pictures in here so I'm really looking forward to coloring in this and I would probably if she did another chibi book buy it because it looks really cute I like that there's no uh, busy background so that I can just use a light light eyeshadow background and concentrate more on the picture so that's what I like to color this is my speed here <laughs> okay so that's country chibi by Alexandra Frances and then I bought another one from her this is cute and magical I like mystical creatures so I oh gosh Look at that flying piggy, so cute! Mary Poppins, mermaid, a lot of cute little pictures in here. So this is right up my speed, like this one. So this is Cute and Magical uh, Coloring Book by Alexandra Frances. And then we have my monthly Coloring Heaven. This is Fairy Topia Special from Myric Mystic. I'm sorry, Mystic Art Mirrors. This is going to be the last one that I get from Coloring Heaven. Um, I canceled my subscription. I was getting too many magazines, and um, I love looking at the pictures but I probably won't color in them as much as I color in my other books, and I just felt like I was getting too many. So I canceled the subscription. Um, this is my least favorite of all the books. This is just not my style. Although some of these are really nice. I like some of these more than others. This is pretty. This one's nice. So there are there are some in here that I really like. Um, this one reminds me of uh, Bridget Bardot or one of those 60s, you know, with the big hair. Maybe Jane Fonda and Barbarella, that type of look. This one's nice too. So I, I don't hate it. It's just my least favorite of the books. But it is nice. So this is Fairytopia Special by Mystic Art Mirrors. And last but not least of the books, I have Babies de Pelicula, which is babies of the movies or film. And it is in Spanish. I buy all of my uh, Hachette Heroes from a Book Depository. And I had a choice between this one and two others and I got this one and I kind of regret it not because I don't like this book I really like it but the other two are no longer in stock and this one still is and I thought oh I should have bought one of the other ones first and then I could have bought this one next because I try to buy one of these a month but right now um, they're out of stock so there's really not much to see here but this is what pages look like and I'm going to show the uh, solution so if you don't want to see you can fast forward a bit like I can tell that this one is um, Finding Nemo that's what it looks like so uh, here we go there's a hundred pictures I'm just gonna quickly go through these pages so you can see so cute A lot of cute pictures in here. Just look at that face, so sad. Makes me sad just looking. <laughs> so, Huey, Dewey, and Louie in Spanish is Juanito. Jorito and Jaimito. So, and Chippendale is Chip and Chop, which I love. So, yeah. 
Oh, Thumper. I can't really show you both pages at the same time, but you can get a, an idea. All right, so that's it for Baby's Day Pelicula. And that's it for coloring supplies. I did get this. This is a Funko Pop. I bought it from Amazon. It is a Hura when she was in Mirror Mirror, one of my favorite uh, episodes of Star Trek. Um, I also at some point want to get this Spock. I love Spock with a beard. So, and she's just so beautiful. Her has always been one of my favorite characters. So I was really happy to get that. And then as far as puzzles, I didn't show these last month, so I'll show them now. I got this one for my husband for Christmas. It's a 300 piece wooden puzzle. From the size of it, I haven't opened it. From the size of it, though, I'm pretty sure the pieces are pretty small. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping they're not too small. We'll see about how that one is. And then I bought this one, which is a bits and pieces. And it's the one that has all the, it has a lot of um, uh, strange shapes. They're not all just the traditional, they're not all like this. They have different, a bunch of different types of shapes on the bits and pieces. And then the last one is not a bird one, which is unusual. And um, I bought this one because it's the 500 piece, but it has the big pieces. And I had gotten him another one like this and he really liked it. So I bought this one. It was the only one I could find. Um, so it's not a bird, but it's a very beautiful picture. I don't know what it is a picture of. Does it tell me? It does not tell me what this what the picture is, but it's it's beautiful. All right, so that's it. That's the last thing I have to show. I want to thank you again for stopping by and joining me today. I hope you have a great week upcoming. Um, I hope you all are staying safe, healthy, and happy. Live long in color, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.